Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft, Mobile Comms Division. Uh, I hope you can hear me okay because it's, uh, it's quite blustery today. I have, I have got my little uh, external microphone on so I'm hoping that's working. Uh, it's Sunday the 15th of September and uh, I'm out today for the Sunday Charlie Tango DX, DX net. Uh, I'm on the West Pennine Moors and there's a, there's a noticeable difference in the weather. Uh, from previous, well, the previous time I was here, um, about a month ago, and uh, the last time I was out doing any uh, mobile comms, which was blistering sunshine, and today it's totally different. So uh, I'm dressed accordingly. I've got uh, got my thermals on. I've got my gaiters on because the uh, the grass which I'm about to go through will be uh, will be wet because it's been raining, and uh, I've got my montane smock on the wind out. Uh, I've got full waterproofs, uh, I've got my brew kit for a warm drink, uh, my shelter of course and uh, also as you can see on my back there is I'm trying out a new uh, a new rucksack, it's a Bergen, Army Bergen uh, which I picked up recently for quite a reasonable price but we'll uh, we'll talk more about that when I get to the summit. So uh, like I say I'm on the West Pennine Moors uh, I'm heading off up this track and up onto the ridge, along the ridge, up to there and then beyond there is the, uh, is the summit of uh, Cartridge Hill which I've been before and that's uh, 402 metres ASL so uh, that should give me some good, it's just started raining, just give you a view round, once you get up there it's uh, quite a good 360 view all the way around. Not that I'll be getting much of a view today though, because uh, it's cloudy, misty, and uh, but I wanted to come out and test the kit, so that's the reason I'm out today, despite the weather. So that's where we're heading now, up top of there, and we'll uh, we'll see you at the summit. Oh, well, what can I say? I'm at the summit now and the weather has turned for the worst. I've just got the uh, shelter up as quick as I could. It's absolutely blowing a gale. I hope you can hear me all right. It's chucking it down now. I've had to put full waterproofs on and get the, uh, get the shelter up as quick as I could. I'll just give you a look outside. You can't actually see the the rain, you know, I'll see it whipping off the shelter, off the basher. Yeah, it's virtually horizontal. It's, uh, it's, it's blowing in from behind me. So I've put the uh, shelter up accordingly, so it's trying to whip over the top. But it makes putting the basher up really difficult because it's just trying to flatten the basher. So, uh, oh, whew. <sighs> CTX at its best you, you can't even well I can just about make out Darwin Tower over there just up beyond the fence line you can just see the hill in the background in the cloud and Darwin Tower's on there and you can't see anything that way and I'm not even going to go outside because it's nasty but uh, this is the Bergen that I was telling you about it's a British Army short back Bergen. It's in A1 condition, all the waterproofing's perfect inside. All the buckles and zips. Oh, wow. And uh, very comfy on the back. Uh, even though it's only the short back version, it carries a lot of stuff. And uh, I paid a pound for it from a car boot. That's it, a pound. And I even got my little lad. Um, a smaller 30 litre version in the MTP uh, camo finish that was 50p that was even better he's met up with that so uh, yeah really pleased with the rucksack I'm hoping this wind's going to die down a bit because I want to get the antenna up which will be uh, interesting I've even had to put rocks down on the pegs because it was just hoiking the pegs out and just whipping them up in the air which was a bit dangerous so I put some I put some rocks down on the corners there, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite bad. 
like I say, I've got my thermals on and coming up the uh, coming up the ascent, I started to warm up very quickly to the point where I was thinking of stripping off again. But now that I'm up top, up here, and I'm uh, I'm not moving about, your core temperature soon drops, and uh, I'm glad I've got them on now. And like I say, I've got the full waterproofs on as well to keep the wind and the rain out. So I'm going to sit out for a bit. It's uh, what time is it? It's 10 past 12, so I've still got time to set things up, maybe get the PMR going. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and get set up and uh, get myself back in here, out of the wind and rain. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. It doesn't seem to be improving. In fact, it's getting worse. Listen to that wind. This basher isn't the best, it's uh, got a few tears in it and uh, it's already starting to, starting to leak in, which isn't a good start. Well, it's better than being out there, I'd rather be in here, I think. Well, I'm waiting for the, uh, the weather to hopefully ease off. I just thought I'd uh, warm myself up with a brew. So I've got the uh, the BCB cup set out with me today. The fire rope in the bottom. The Crusader cup and lid. On a plastic cup there as well. The little spoon that I made on Scout Camp. The, uh, the weather is still gusty and wet. The rain's not as bad actually, believe it or not, but the wind is really whipping up as you can see from the uh, from the basher. But uh, hopefully I'll be warmed up soon once I get this uh, brew on the go. So I'll get that down me, warm up a bit. I am actually quite warm, I'm okay. I'm not uh, I'm not cold. But uh, so it's good to get a nice warm brew inside. So that's what we're doing now. I've not had a chance to put the aerial up yet. The antenna, I'm not going out. I'm going to, I've got plenty of time, so uh, I'm going to see if it eases off. Right, I'm going to get this brew on. That's you in a bit. Got the uh, got the PMR on, from channel 8, and uh, I'm getting a signal coming through from somebody. I'm not quite sure who it is. I've not been able to make it out yet, but uh, still early yet for the, uh, for the PMR section of the net. But uh, I've got it there, I've got it there ready. Still waiting for the uh, brew to boil. No change in the weather. The rocks are rocking. The brews are brewing. And the PMR is on. So, uh, standing by. It's actually quite. I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's uh, there's going to be nobody else out of it up here. Nobody else is daft enough. But uh, I'm tucked away in my very basic shelter, keeping out the elements. Just I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get the uh, 10 meter antenna up because it's pretty gusty. But I'm going to give it a go. I've still got time yet, so we'll see how we go. Okay, see you in a bit. It's not looking good. It's, it's, I've just tried putting the antenna up and the wind's just picked up again and it's absolutely lashing it down now. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely... I've just tried getting the antenna up as you can see out there and I, oh, I think I'm gonna have to call this off I really want to I really want to do this but it's just ridiculous I, I couldn't even get the mask fully up and it was bending like well more than a banana good grief it was bending almost 90 degrees this is ridiculous 
the CTX and the CTX. I really want to do this. I've still got time yet, I've still got plenty of time to set up, but it's uh, I'm losing that time fast. I don't know if you can pick this up or not, but it's absolutely hoofing it down out there. It's blowing a gale. I'm trying to keep my stuff as dry as I can because this bash is leaking in a bit. I'm having to cover everything up with a brown sheet. Like I've had my brew, I'm warmed up. I'm absolutely soaked through. I've had these waterproof leggings for a long many years and I think they've I think they've had it. Mind you, they've stood up, they've, they've had to go through it today. Wait a minute. Right, well, I'm going to sit out a bit longer and uh, see what happens. See you in a bit. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Charlie Tango X-Ray. Charlie Tango X-Ray 1269 West Pennine Moors. I don't know whether you can see that down there. But I'm starting to get it's starting to get really boggy now. It's starting to fill up. I'm getting a little pond outside me uh, shelter. It's getting worse. The shelter's holding up, but it's just not getting any better. Let's see if I can... You can't even see Darwin's tower. Whoa! It's all over the camera. I'm thinking I'm going to have to call it a day, guys. Because this is getting ridiculous. I can't even get the, uh, I can't even lift the mast up, it's too much to lift. No, this is silly. Sorry guys. It's not going to happen. Right, I don't know whether you can hear this or not. My plan today was to uh, test the kit out in adverse conditions. Which I got, and uh, well, it has stood up to the conditions. I'm under my shelter. I'm out of the elements. I'm warm enough. I'm I'm wet. I'm very I'm very wet, but I'm not cold. All my kit's dry, more or less. But there's no way I'm going to get the uh, the antenna up today. So uh, I think I'm going to knock it on the head, just pack up, head back to the car, I'm just going to have to battle my way through this lot and uh, <laughs> try again another day, because this is silly. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. No, it's been all right. It's been it's been quite good on a on a daft side of things. All my uh, all my cameras soaked, which isn't a good thing. It's not a waterproof camera. My uh, my rucksack's wet through. Everything else is wet through. But all my radio gear's dry and everything. So uh, right. Well, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I didn't get to uh, get on air. 
and uh, <laughs> if I manage to get down back down to the car I'll hopefully see you on the next video okay from the West Pennine Moors in lovely Lancashire whoa I'll uh, I've forgotten where I am now in the actual closing part of the video anyway see you on the next video thanks for watching Woohoo! Ah, oh, blimey!